OK, let's talk about President Trump, because um, there's been a lot of criticism that you're not taking direct shots at him, that you're not actually running against him. Um, you've talked about that you think that you possibly pardon him should you have become president. Um, he's potentially facing another round of federal charges in connection with January 6th. Here's some of what you said just a week after that actually happened in real time. One of your tweets, you said what Trump did last week was wrong, downright abhorrent, plain and simple. You've referred to the disgraceful Capitol riot and Trump's egregious behavior. In one of your books, you went on to say that he lost then wrongfully claimed he didn't lose the election, that it was stolen and then raised millions of dollars off of his supporters. So why are you and the other candidates now so quick to defend him? Are you worried about the punchback you would take for him if you're actually critical of that behavior now? To the contrary, Shannon, I've been consistent all along that I would have made different judgments than Donald Trump made. That is why I am running in this race for the presidency, the same race that he's in, because I would have made different and I believe better judgments for the country. But a bad judgment is not the same thing as a crime. And when we conflate the two, that sets a dangerous precedent for this country. I don't want to see us become some banana republic where the party in power uses police force to arrest its political opponents. Now that I'm third in the national polls, self-interestedly, it would be much easier for me to win this election if Trump were not the front runner, if Trump were eliminated by the federal administrative police state. But that's not the right thing for the country. To my critics, Shannon, I think they're right about one thing. I am not running against anyone in this race. I'm not running against my fellow GOP primary contenders. I'm not even strictly running against Biden. I am running for this country. And I think that's something we've long missed in our conservative movement. Too long we have been running from something. I am leading us to something. But the reality to our vision of what it means to be American. I think that'll be